It seems that a common problem discussed in the WordPress.org forums these days is people having the problem with uh, error message error establishing a database connection, either on a blog that they're initially setting up or they've tried to upgrade the blog and they get that error, um, or they move the blog to some other location and they get the error uh, message that says error establishing a database connection. In this video, I want to go through a few of the possible causes of that and sort of talk you through it and show you what to check and uh, uh, show you some places to check using this test blog here. As you can see, I have a blog installed at extremeclassroom.com slash blog. It's in a subdirectory. This is it, and it's working just fine. Uh, it's a new blog. There's nothing in it, but everything's working as should. So let's go now to my hosting control panel. This one's hosted at Bluehost, but what I show you here will apply to virtually any host because the, the error establishing database connection is usually going to be in your PHP config file. There's something wrong that's not finding your database. So let's look at this one for a second. I'm going to click File Manager, and you can go File Manager from your control panel, or you can go uh, look at your blog through FTP, however you normally get to it. But I'm going to look in public HTML in the blog subdirectory. That's where my blog is located. And I'm going to open the wp-config file uh, just to look at it. I'll click on edit here and open that file. Now you could open yours again in your FTP client or however you get to your file structure. If you get the problem with error establishing database connection, it's probably going to be 99% chance that it's going to be in this DB name here. Your database name is incorrect or your database user is incorrect, your database password could be incorrect, or your database host could be incorrect. Chances are it's going to be in one or more of those settings. So if you get that error, you need to come here and look at these settings and make sure that they're correct. Now, let's just see what happens. If I were to come and change my database name uh, just by one character, for example, and click Save Changes, and then go back out now to look at my blog that was functioning properly. I'll hit refresh. Now I get the error establishing database connection because it can no longer find that database. The name that I put in my WP config PHP file does not match the name of the database. So if I have that problem, what I should do uh, if you have a hosting account with cPanel or some other hosting account so that you can actually go in and look at your databases, uh, chances are you're going to be able to do that if you're on a good host. Uh, here on Bluehost, I have MySQL databases that I can look at. So I'm going to click on the MySQL databases, and it will show me the databases that I have created here. Now, I only have one on this account, but if I had more, there would just be additional rows. So this is my database name. This is exactly what I need to put in that WP config file for a database name. Typically, your account username is going to be appended to the front of your actual database name. So when I set this database up, I named it Word99. The system appended my account here, hosting account username, to the front of Word99. So my database name is ExtremeI1 underscore Word99. That's what I have to have in that config file. I can look at my database user here. That's the username. It's ExtremeI1. It appends the account username to the front of it. And when I set up my user, I call my user Figaro. So I can get those two pieces of information by looking at the database right here. Uh, now, I can't get my user password looking here. If you don't know what that user password is, then you need to find out what it is or possibly create a new user and add it to the database. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But you can verify the first two bits of information, the database name and the database user, by looking at this information. So I know it's Extreme I1 Word 99, Extreme I1 Figaro for the database name and the user. So now I could take that information and go back to my file manager, open the wp-config file, and check to make sure that the database name and the database user are correct. And if they're correct, then it's either going to be the user password or it's going to be the 
DB host that is incorrect. So let's fix the database name that I changed earlier. Put the one back at the end of it. So I know that's my database name. That's my username. And click Save Changes. And then go back and look at my blog to ensure that it's working. I'll come here. I'll hit Refresh. And now my blog is back. So my blog is working. 